Capital. Okay, so if you have any questions for the presenter, please use the chat feature in the Zoom session. You can also submit a question by a chat box for the presenter to answer after the session. If you have any technical questions, please reach out directly to us by a chat. And please avoid anything that will cause distractions and make sure that you're on mute mode during the presentation. And more importantly, please enjoy today's webinar session. And of course, to finally introduce our speaker of today's webinar. He has over 15 years of experience as an international corporate trainer or consultant, specializing in Internet of Things, blockchain, artificial intelligence, big data, industry 4.0, machine learning, cloud computing, Hadoop, data science, and deep learning. He is currently working as a data scientist for a big data and analytics company with responsibilities in developing new and additional features in core products. He also built Insight Engine based on NLP, text cleaning, mining and aggregations, besides Elasticsearch and Mongo. Part of his responsibilities include creation of predictive model, recommendation engines, forecasting, and segmentation, and machine learning models. He attained his MTech bachelor's degree in data science from University of Mumbai, MCA management degree from University of Pune, and pursued his PhD in cloud computing with big data analysis in Scotland. So let us all give a virtual round of applause to Dr. Manish Kumar Jain. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, sir. I think you're on mute, bo, or yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, hi, 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 everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this webinar, like, you know, where we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the data, data storytelling, and how we can play with uh, data sets. Uh, so, welcome to the webinar, and uh, let me start the session now. So uh, nowadays we are having different types of database in the market, and uh, we know that you know after this COVID nineteen, uh, everybody wanted to use some healthcare device where they can monitor their pulse rate, their temperature, and multiple activities. So uh, because of that, we are having different types of product in the market, and many product are connected with the Internet of Things. So the meaning is that you know all the devices can generate a different types of database. So once we have a huge volume of database, then always the question will come how to convert a database in meaningful output. Uh, the simple example is that, you know, whenever we are going to any shopping mart or whenever we are going to any place, that time multiple database can be generated. So how we can convert a database in meaningful output. So if we know the technique, how we can play with database, because nowadays the database is the new engine. You know, whenever I give a more oil, probably I can I can do something more with my database. So data storytelling is the one concept where we can uh, convert all the database in the meaningful output over that. So with the help of this webinar, uh, I wanted to share with you that the importance of database, how data is playing a very important role in our day to day work. And if you know that how to play with the database, then we are having a lot of scope in the market. So normally 95% of companies, they are looking out someone who knows how to play with the data set. So because data is a very powerful thing in the market. So we are having different types of techniques where we can play with data set. So which is the best technique for you? And the tool which we are going to use, that is the programming or non-programming. 
for what type of database enhancement we can do, how to convert a normal database into the data storytelling. So all these concepts we are going to be discussed today into this webinar. Uh, yeah, so please next slide. Okay, so we are having few outlines for the day. So I'm going to be discuss about what is the data, what is the database analysis, and what is the data visualizations. Uh, after that, we are going to be discuss about data visualizations benefit in term of company, in term of user, in term of client, or in the term of you. Like in my case, I'm I'm doing some data visualizations on daily basis. Like today, whatever the activities I have done, simply I will keep a database into the Excel file. And end of the day, I am converting all these activities into the report format. So I will get some pie chart, I will get some scatter plot. So at least I identify that how much time I have spent for the particular work. So these are the benefit I will get if I do some data visualizations over that. After that, how we can engage your audience with the visuals. Uh, normally, uh, there are two type of data. If I, if I talk about in a very generic example, uh, I have a novel. The novel I can read and I just make a visualize of the, this knowledge activities of the character in my mind. Second option is that I will go to multiplex or I will open any OTT platform, then I can watch the movie, uh, you know, the online. So whenever you uh, get something via visuals, via audio, via video, probably this will make more impact in your mindset. Yeah. So that is the meaning of visuals we are having into the data storytelling. After that, what type of visuals we need to be used for data storytelling concept? Like if I talk about, uh, you know, any keyword, so which color combination is good? What type of parameter I can use? So all these patterns we need to be understand. A uh, very simple example is that if I'm doing some analysis of heart disease uh, for medical science, and if I'm getting some values for male or female, so always we need to be use some appropriate color combination for the female as well as the male. So ideally we can use the pink color for the uh, female or blue for the male. So these are the things we need to be uh, rectify while creating any data storytelling concept. Uh, like, you know, what are the best practices we are having for data storytelling? So uh, like, you know, we need to be uh, take care of what type of component, what type of database, the feature, the benefit, so this is what we can discuss about the best practices on this. Yeah, please, next slide. Okay, so why why data visualizations? So uh, the question is that, you know, we are having different types of database in the market. So total, we are having three categories of database. We are having the structured, semi-structured, as well as the unstructured. The structured database, the meaning is that the database which is coming into Excel file, where I'm having the row, column, field. This is the meaning of a structured data set. Second one, we have uh, semi-structured. So where the data can be structured or non-structured sometimes. Uh, but the last one, we are having unstructured. So database of Facebook, database of Instagram, database of LinkedIn, database of WhatsApp. This is the three category of database we are having over that. So if I talk about the database, which is coming into the Excel file, I can do the normal uh, formatting. I can do the normal visualizations because we have enough tool or component in the market. Uh, but always the question will come if I'm having some database of Facebook, database of LinkedIn, database of Instagram. So how I can check that, how many persons they like my picture. Uh, if somebody like my picture, whether he or she has given comment or not, how many comment from female, how many comment from male, uh, in which time I will get more comment or in which time what type of keyword I will get. So all these analytics I can do with the help of data uh, based operations here. So basically the data visualization, the meaning is that how to convert a database into the graphical representation. So where I can use different types of chart, I can use different types of parameter, I can use different types of images. I can use different types of color combinations. So whenever we are making any data visualizations, things should be very clear, like, you know, who's the audience. So if I'm doing any reporting for the kids, I need to be use some different types of images, some different types of, you know, this, uh, the pictures. But if I'm doing the same report for the corporate, for my manager, for my company, then always I need to be follow the standard protocol for the corporate, number one. Number two is that 
what type of chart we are going to be used because we are having n number of chart in the market so always we need to be checked that if i'm going for pie chart whether this is effective or not i need to go for the bar plot the scatter plot or any other plot as well always we need to be give that text label in a very clear way so always use the same type of font same type of color combination what type of color that is what we need to be discussed with the data visualization concept over that and always try to give the clear picture about the data set if i am doing something for banking database analysis just make sure that everything should be very clear over that if i am doing something for healthcare just make sure that you are giving a proper presentation on it so this is the things we are having for the effective data visualizations so in a in a one word i would say that uh, the effective way clear objective and the audience should be more happy when they will see your report uh, example is that whenever i am doing something for any of the business like suppose for the marketing so in the marketing i can use different types of graph for the location i can use different types of the users i can use different types of color combination so things can be more clear to each and every level of participant so this is what we have a rule for effective data visualizations yeah next slide please okay so what is the impact of it uh impact the meaning is that you know when we talk about data visualizations to data analytics or the visual analytics see the visualization the meaning is that how to convert everything into the chart as well as the plot but when we talk about analytics inside how we can use machine learning how we can use deep learning how we can use data science so we can give more a uh, more impactful result to the user uh, if we talk about a very simple way uh like suppose i am having a database for a month of january okay customer database like suppose i am having a database of selling the ice cream for month of january i am having a same database for month of feb so can i make some prediction for month of march can i can i can i uh, make some prediction that you know if i will get more customer or if the weather is coming in the more hot probably will get more customer for the ice cream so the ice cream vendor can do some arrangement of this okay so all these analytics we can perform with the help of visual analytics so analytics is the part of uh, data analysis along with that we have to go for some predictions we have to do the forecasting or we have to go for other operations so nowadays if i talk about any of the business like we have online uh, online e-commerce business or if i talk about the marketing if i talk about the sales if i talk about the hospital if i talk about the bank any of the sector and if you know that what is my product if i know that what my customer is expecting from me so i just show them the thing whatever they are required from our side so that is the meaning of visual analytics we are having here so let me let me share one example with you one quick example so you will get more idea uh, you know what i am trying to say uh, just give me a minute let me show you one example to you uh, like uh this is the one way which i am having here suppose if i wanted to uh just give the information that okay ah uh, yeah so if i wanted to give the information that which are the top 10 richest men in the world so here you can see the example i can display by this way so instead of this normally uh what user are doing they simply make the excel file so in the one file we have the year wise information in the second column we are having a customer name in third one we are having the total income but now here if we will convert with the animated bar raise chart like this so things can be more impactful to the user okay so this is the one example or if we talk about which are the top 10 operating system in the world so here you can see the example like in the year of 1990 then uh, which are the os and we have android sony blackberry windows linux so this will come into the step by step so that is that is the one way we are having here you know and uh, in this way i i would say that you know we are having a very effective way of visualizations so how to how to make all these things how to make all these things 
So we can make the, the, the same thing with the help of Power BI. We can make the same thing with the help of Tableau and we can do the same thing with the help of other uh, parameter as well. Okay, yeah. So next slide, please. Okay, so how we can go for the process of the visual signal. So first thing is that we need to be checked that uh, whenever I look uh, the data set, whenever I look anything, so what are the thoughts come in my picture? So that is what we need to be identify number one. If I'm doing something for healthcare, probably uh, I got a picture of healthcare domain. If I'm doing something for the banking, probably that image will come in my mindset. After that, we need to be, uh, you know, just go the relations with the help of same uh, performance over that. After that, we need to be take the correct information, like, you know, what is the age, what is the depth, what is the orientation, what is the motion, uh, what type of color we have. And finally, we need to be go for different types of interpretation. So that is the way we are having from data collection to data pre-processing in the final way. So when we talk about the data visualization is not a simple thing. We need to be take a database, then we need to be understand that how uh, this information can be impactful to my, my user or my customer. So this is the way we are having for data visualization impact over it. Okay, yeah. Next slide, please. Uh, okay. So why data visualizations? This is a very common question. Like, you know, uh, if I have attended this webinar, so what is the purpose of it? Why we are doing all these things? So uh, let me tell you the very clear situation. If I talk about uh, five years back, uh, that time we had a database, but uh, that time the user can design something using normal Excel. So, but Excel having some limitations for data uh, processing as well as the normal plot. But nowadays, uh, data visualization is one of the very important impact for the user life frame. Uh, if I talk about the mobile phone, so if there is no mobile phone, if there is no smartphone, uh, you know, then I cannot uh, visualize anything, you know. So mobile is required because uh, I can see, uh, you know, all the messages communication via the WhatsApp. Uh, I just engage with my friend via the LinkedIn, via Twitter, via Instagram. Uh, on the same way, if we are having a lot of database we have different volume of database so and if you wanted to convert in the meaningful information or if you wanted to take some business decision that time i need uh, the complete analysis of database and that is a part of data visualizations we have so this is one of the core concept in the in the current market scenario and all the companies they are having a separate department where they would like to hire a person those know that how to convert a database in meaningful output over that so i have seen some example for microsoft some example for ibm some example for the big four companies and they are having a separate department for analytics so they are doing some analysis for uh, you know the security department some analysis for hr some analysis for the marketing, the analysis for the sales operation and from multiple department as well. So this is one of the major impact we have into the market. Yeah. OK, next slide, please. OK, so what is the benefit we are having for data visualizations? So the benefit, the meaning is that uh, we can give a clear picture about my database, number one. Number two is that we should be very clear, like, you know, what type of decision you wanted to take. Uh, number three, we can take the quick action. Uh, number four, we can identify the error message into a database. Uh, number four, and which is very important for us, we can understand the total story of database. And number five, we can just explore the business insight. And number three, we can understand the mindset. Uh, example is that if you wanted to purchase anything from Netflix or Amazon uh, website, so probably you're looking out different types of item. So if uh, the company understand that what type of item you're looking out, so you're looking out particular item uh, in this category, in this price range, in this feature. So the company will give you the output what you are expecting from us. So the meaning is that uh, they will take the database from the customer and they will give you the uh, response on that. So uh, probably they can increase more sales value or they can increase more operations from here. So uh, the better way is that if you want to get 
the quick action or if you wanted to expand the proper story of the database then of course we have to go for data visualizations concept so if i if i talk about the google drive if i talk about the gmail so in every tool we are having some option called the reporting and this is that uh, how many items you have captured into the drive how many items you are doing some operations so we just perform the analytics like their size their scope how many times you have access what type of operation you have done so this is the benefit we are having for data visualizations yeah next slide please Hello, sir. I think uh, we lost your. Um... Oh, number one. Yeah. So I I hope am I am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I I said that you know uh, the engaging your audience with the visuals. So whenever you're you're selling any product to any of the customer or whenever you're doing any engagement with your organization, so that time always we need to give a more impactful uh, the feature. Uh, if we talk about the example of uh, Pizza Hut, okay, so we have Pizza Hut, we have McDonald, we have the big brand. So now what they are doing, uh, always they have taken the information from the customer and they're keeping a database in the back end of the uh, storage and they're giving some offer to you depend upon your, your, your preference values. Example is that uh, Pizza Hut knows very well I'm having a Visa card or I'm having a MasterCard. So probably I will get the offer that, sir, we know that you are having a visa card and for the visa card, uh, we are offering 5% off only this Friday between uh, 9 to 10 p.m. So how they can make a plan, how they can give us the offer with the help of these mechanism, uh, with the help of that way. So if I just explain the same thing in the more impact for visuals, uh, like something like this, let me share one example to you. Uh, what type of visuals I'm trying to say. So uh, that is the one example which I have for the retail analytics. Uh, in the retail analytics, you can see that, you know, I'm having some database for uh, sales operations. And from the sales operation, I just show them to my client that, you know, what they're expecting here. You can see the location wise. So we have a location wise information. Uh, we have something called monthly sales information. Like this is the district manager. If I click on the uh, the value one, so he or she is the part of what type of component? This is called month wise sales. We are having total sales for the revenues. We are having some chart for the location wise, or we are having something with the item wise. So in this way, I just make the report. Or if we are going to be launch a new store, then what type of analysis we are having here? So something uh, in this way I can perform via the operations. So this is the way of uh, database visualizations and this is the way we can engage our audience with the visuals, uh, the values. Okay, yeah, next slide please. Uh, okay, so common type of visualizations, we are having the chart. Chart means we are having a pie chart, we have the bar chart, we have histogram, we are having a number of chart in the market. Uh, then we can display something with the table format Table means where the user can use the filter. Table means where we can perform uh, uh, some operations for the sequence values. Uh, we can design something with the graphical presentations. Uh, example is that, you know, if I wanted to check that uh, the database which I got it, like suppose I'm having a sales database for month of January. So which is the least value, which is the maximum value. So how many customers they have taken the product, uh, which is more than this limit and less than this limit. So all these things I can display with the graphical presentation. The map, uh, like, you know, what is the sale of this particular place or other place as well? Example is that if I have a world map, so what is the total sales amount in, uh, in uh, you know, in Philippines region, in, in Thailand, in Singapore, in Malaysia? So I just display the information into the mapping pattern. Uh, infographic, the meaning is that, you know, the location inside the location, which contain the latitude, uh, longitude, the locations and other values. And finally, we have a dashboard. So dashboard, the meaning is that where I can combine all the chart, all the plot in a, in a one place. So that is the meaning of dashboard we are having. So 
uh, I remember that time, you know, five or uh, six years back, normally the managers, they are making some report via the Excel format, but Excel having their own limitations. Uh, like suppose I'm having one Excel, which is called the Excel 16, and my client having the uh, different types of Excel. So normally this will not work. Uh, but nowadays we have advanced tool, which is the part of cloud environment, like we have Power BI, we have Tableau. So whenever I will share any information to my multiple clients, simply they need to be open the link and uh, they will get all the output. So this is the flexibility we are having in the market as well. And uh, you know, if I talk about the job uh, culture, we are having amazing in the way. So if somebody is working as a normal uh, engineer or normal admin or normal uh, agent, and if you have some knowledge of data visualizations, so probably you will get uh, more benefit uh, in your current uh, working, uh, you know, this environment. And once you update your resume that hey, you know about data visualizations and you have done something for Tableau, uh, you've done something for Power BI. So of course, this will be added more value in your career growth. Okay, so these are the few uh, benefit we are having with the help of these type of the data visualizations. Okay, yeah. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, okay, so uh, next one we have something called uh, the chart type. So we are having, you know, you can see here we have the pie chart, we have grant chart, we have area chart. So this is the very common question, which chart we need to be used on which place. Like suppose uh, I'm feeling very hungry. So I will take, you know, the complete uh, food item. But if I feel that, you know, now I'm feeling hungry, but I need to take some, some small items. So probably I can take one small pizza or uh, one coffee or some item. On the same way, we need to be understand that in which scenario we can use the pie chart or in which scenario we can use the grant chart or what is the scenario for the area chart. So like if I want to display the information about the region wise, information about the sector wise, then always we need to go for the pie chart. Grant chart, the meaning is that if I want to display some information about the improvement wise, improvement of the sales or the month wise information or day wise information, then we have to go for a grant chart. Area chart, the meaning is that if I want to display some information that uh, what is the total sales value for this time frame or this range, that time I can go for the area chart. So this is uh, the things are required because many times uh, if I wanted to define something by the area chart or if I put it the pie chart, probably it will go in the more different impact to the customer mindset. So things should be very clear that what is the situation, what is the uh, point, what is the database and what type of chart I need to use. So this is what uh, you know, uh, you will get it once you join any course for data visualizations, once you join any course for data analytics. So because we are having, you know, so many types of chart. So as for the Wikipedia, we are having 100 plus chart and all the chart having their own values, all the chart they're having their own impact. So this need to be understand, you know, for the better improvement of the project or the better improvement of the reporting segmentation. Yeah, next chart, please. Next slide, please. Okay, so here you can see that we have a table plot. So normal table, I can make it with the help of Excel, but Excel is not that much of impactful. Uh, so here I can give different types of color combinations. I can give uh, the different types of pattern like average of the sales, sales by the customer wise, sales for the product wise, sales for the previous year, you know, so every information is available on the table. And from the table, uh, easily I can make the prediction. In the last year, if I had a sell of this, where the category is the uh, the men. So what is the uh, probabilities of getting a higher sell for this year in this product? So something in that way I can analyze, I can make the predictions, I can do the forecasting uh, for this type of table chart option. Okay, yeah, next slide please. Okay, uh, we have the bar graph as well as the line chart. So if I wanted to compare that, you know, uh, which one having this highest sales in the product wise or which one having the highest growth in the uh, market wise. So I can define different types of bar plot. You can see that we can make the bar plot which contain the horizontal as well as the sequential bar plot. 
So horizontal, the meaning is that which is coming in the second way and we are having vertical uh, which contain into the pipe chart. Uh, apart from this, if I'm having some database which contain the date, time or year, like suppose we have day one, uh, we have a specific time. So I can define with the help of line graph. So if I talk about the very simple example about the WhatsApp, so in which time I am getting more messages in the morning, in the noon or in the evening, okay? Who is the customer? Uh, many messages from male or female, which is the common keyword. So what they are talking about. So I can display everything with the help of line graph. If I know that date, time, year or value. So that is the example we are having over that. So next slide, please. Yeah. So here you can see that we have very interactive point map as well as the line map. So this is nothing but the map plot. So if I have the proper information about latitude, longitude or other way, I just combine it. Uh, let me share one real time example. Uh, we know that the traffic condition in Manila. OK, so if I can get some real time database of uh, the traffic in the morning or in the evening, so better I can put it in the map and uh, will give some report to the user. Uh, probably today is the Friday in the Friday. We, we are going to be get more rush in this place. So please avoid to go in that place, you know. So all these things I can analyze. If I will get some database from, uh, you know, the transport department. And so I just make the report and they can publish the report on weekly wise or on daily basis. So the user can, can decide from their way. Uh, if I talk about the business point of view, so in which place, in which sector, in which location we are having more customer. So that is what I can do with the help of these mapping plot over that. Yeah, next slide, please. Okay, so we have flow map or heat map. So if you wanted to make a relation between multiple entries, like suppose we are having, you know, different types of values and I wanted to identify that uh, how many customer they fall into the group A or group B or group C, that time we can use the heat map. Okay, the flow map, the meaning is that which is the root uh, conditions we have. Like suppose we have some main branch and from the main branch, how many sub branches we are having and what type of data flow we have. So we are having something called in the upper side means in the benefit, uh, in the loss or in the intermediary. So that is what I can display by the flow map. So heat map, basically we can use uh, if you want to make some relations between the area, uh, between the customer or between the sales well. like we have product A, product B, product C. So what is the relation between product A to the sales value? B to the cells and C to the cells or in a very general example, uh, like in the WhatsApp group, uh, which person or sending more good morning messages and who's the person and he or she is sharing this good noon or good afternoon. Something in that way, I can just make the relation between the database as well as the WhatsApp messages over that. So that is the one type of plot we have. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. Uh, infographic, the meaning is that, you know, which contain all the information, like suppose if I'm applying for a job, so probably the, you know, this interviewer would ask me that, hey, can you please share your resume to me? Uh, if I will send a resume in a normal way, like in the word file or in a normal file, probably that much of impact will not come. But uh, if I will, if I will make my resume, my profile with this interactive data visualization tool, uh, if I said that I'm having 10 years of experience, so in which company, how many years, what type of technology, so everything I can display in a more impactful way. So that is the meaning of infographics. So whenever the company is publishing the report for monthly wise, for weekly, for the yearly, so always they need to be keep all the element. So the, the you know, the stakeholder, the client, uh, they will get more information or the very clear information about the product, about the company, about the employee or about the other other way. So that is something which we need to be defined by the infographic representation. So this is again the part of plot. This is again the part of chart we have. OK, yeah. So next slide, please. Okay, so we have a dashboard dashboard. The meaning is that where we can combine all the chart as a one. That is the meaning of dashboard. So like I have created 10 different types of chart. So uh, if I wanted to send a report to my client, I cannot uh, uh, I cannot send one one chart. 
uh, better I need to be keep all the chart in a one dashboard and need to be shared that dashboard to my client. So whenever the client look into the dashboard, probably he or she can feel more comfortable into the parameter. That is the meaning of dashboard we have. So we can make a dashboard using the Power BI, using the Tableau. So these are the two major tools which are leading the market. So I recommended to use the Power BI. Why? Because the Power BI is the part of Microsoft, number one. Number two is that 95% of companies, they are following this Power BI because already they are using the Excel. And in the Power BI, there is no programming, there is no coding. So if you are if you are from a background uh, uh, where uh, you don't know anything about the programming, so no need to worry about it. Simply you can go for drag and drop options and uh, you can make your own chart. You can make your own plot as well. So that is something we have for the dashboard activities. Yeah, next slide, please. Okay, so apply the visual uh, things into your data visualizations. Okay, next slide, please. So let me give some more insight about it. Okay, so uh, the meaning is that how we can use some visual image to the communicate meaning. Uh, the meaning is that, you know, if I wanted to, uh, you know, just give them any of the information, so how we can use different types of images. Uh, just make sure that this image having a proper information about your message. Uh, we need to be use the proper font. We need to be use the proper text value, proper color combinations. And just make sure that if you're giving any image, this will contain complete information, whatever is expecting from our client site. So overall, the meaning is that whenever we are doing any narrative of database or any of the data visualization component, uh, we need to go with the help of these communication. So always remember that communication is the way where we can interact with the customer. So if I'm not going with the proper communication, might be the problem will occur in the future. So while making a report, we need to be keep a proper communication. Communication with, uh, you know, with the help of font, communication with the, with the type of chart, communication in the image format or communication with the different types of audio or visual format as well. Okay, yeah, next slide, please. Uh, okay, so uh, whenever you wanted to add these parameter into the data storytelling, then uh, we need to be understand that about the text element. Just make sure that uh, we are using the proper font and we are putting in the proper context or in the place. Uh, we need to be use the theme as per the design or as per the objective. And after that, we need to be use the proper uh, graphics, uh, proper visuals, which can uh, give us the complete information, but make sure that it should not be mislead the information. Like suppose if I'm trying to say something and the message is giving a different meaning, then this will be clear the problem. Uh, then we need to be uh, go for overall design, like, you know, before sending to the client, uh, we need to be cross check in a multiple factor that whether my design is giving complete information, whether my design is enough to give the information to the client, uh, whether uh, you know everything is correct, like there is no typo mistake or there is no error message. So once I feel that everything is uh, doing in the perfect track, then I can share with my client. So these are the few examples we are having for data storytelling, where I can use the different types of visuals, graphics, uh, color, and the text element. Okay, yeah. Next slide, please. Yeah. So we are having some additional tips when we talk about this visual operation. So we need to be uh, give the proper heading. Just make sure that you are giving a heading so which can be navigated in the easy way. Okay. Uh, we need to use the proper font and proper purpose and just make sure that uh, you can use the proper uh, access. The meaning is that you know whenever somebody try to read the message or information, so there should be no miscommunication. Like suppose if I'm trying to say something and the client will understanding something else. So this is called the miscommunication between the component. Typography, just make sure that you're giving some uh, proper information. Whenever the customer can read, they will get their complete information hierarchy and the space. Uh, we need to give the proper effective document design. So this is the meaning of uh, the heads we are having here. So which contain the heading, access, typography, as well as the space. Uh, for assigning the text or other values into the data visualizations. Okay, yeah. Next slide, please. 
uh, okay so we need to use the proper color combinations so just make sure that as i given the example if i talk about anything for the female and all we need to use the pink and for normal we need to use the blue uh, but we need to be understand that the importance of uh, business because every color having a different combination so i cannot give a red color uh, if i don't want to highlight it anything or i cannot give any dull color so that color theory is a very much important and which you got it uh, once you go through this uh, data visualizations concept from here okay next slide please okay so like here you can see that some additional tips we are having like you know where we need to be highlighted or what type of contrast we can use and what type of always so like you can see that we are having blue and uh, you know this one the right so this is not looks good but when we talk about black and blue uh, that one looks good you know or when i use the white background with the black one so easily somebody can access or things can be visible to them so that is what we need to be analyze before putting anything to the data visualizations over that yeah next slide please Uh, next uh, slide, please. Okay. So we are having something called uh, the information type. If I am having some column which contain the numerical, we need to be go for table chart and other way. Uh, if I wanted to give any information which contain the people objective, we need to go for picture or line drawing. Uh, if we wanted to explain anything for the process, like, you know, uh, we have to go for this uh, step by step, then we need to be designed by the flow chart or flow control. Uh, geographical information, I just use the map. And apart from this, we need to use the numbers or the bullet point if I am giving something on the topic wise or something on the content wise. So these few things uh, we need to be understand over here. Okay. Yeah. Next slide, please. Okay. So overall design, the meaning is that, you know, whenever we have done all the designs, just make sure that few point, uh, the message should be clear. We are going for the professional and effective way. Uh, just uh, avoid uh, any awkward steps or the shape which uh, is not fitted as per the database values. And always we need to be understand that what type of color combinations I'm going to be use. So uh, we need to be uh, take the business domain and accordingly we need to be use the color combinations. And where you want to display the value in the left, in the right, in the top, in the bottom, because for every story, for every, uh, you know, the parameter, we have a different meaning. So if I wanted to define the slider, we can go for left side. Or if I want to give an information of the slider, we need to go for right side. So that is what we need to be discuss about it when we talk about the overall design pattern. OK, yeah. Next slide, please. Uh, OK, so basically, uh, this is not a just concern about this uh, options. But uh, we, whenever we can see the chart, we quickly see the trend and outliers. So if we can see something, we uh, internalize that quickly and it add in the storytelling with a purpose and allow us to gain insight from our data presented. So overall, the meaning is that uh, this is not a way that, you know, we are doing something for normal, uh, normal database analytics or normal database storytelling. But uh, whenever we found that, you know, we are having some database which contains some outlier or which contains some trend. So how we can give more insight to the customer? So basis on that, uh, the client can take some decision, the customer can take some decision, or we just come in the more effective uh, manner of it. So that is what we need to be used over there. So, yeah. Okay, so the best practices in the data visualizations. Yeah, next one. So always we need to be uh, just give them the proper meaning, the proper formatting style. Uh, we need to be understand that what type of chart I'm going to be use. And uh, we need to be highlighted the point and always give the use the proper English, normal English, normal sentence. So everybody will understand that the meaning of your chart, the meaning of your report. OK, yeah. Next slide, please. Uh, okay, so always we need to be use the different types of key concept. The meaning is that, you know, we need to be uh, use the length. Length should be in the proper way. We need to be use the width. Uh, we need to be give the size which coming in the proper way as well as the intensity. So like suppose if I'm giving some size, which is the higher side 
and some size which is coming in the lower side so this might be create a problem so we need to be follow the standard practice of it uh, next slide please uh, okay so we have something called revolving patterns so what type of patterns we can use like if i want to display something called uh, you know we are having something in the margin side something in the head side so we need to be go with the upward or if we want to display something in the cluster and all we have to come with the downside so that type of pattern we can use uh, for uh, defining the uh, this chart component here so next one please okay so we need to be choose the right chart like you know uh, as i said that you know what is the distribution we are having or what type of visualizations i'm going to be use or if you want to show any relations so uh, we need to be use the chart appropriately yeah next one okay so we need to be use the theme like you know if i talk about the color combination so i'm going for categorical uh, i'm going for the sequential or i'm going for diverging so we need to be choose the color combinations so if i'm making a report for my client then as a professional approach we can use with the sequential but uh, if the client say that uh, we have a different different types of parameter then we can use the categorical component over that yeah next slide please okay the style this is uh, we have discussed that we need to be check that whether i am going with the grid line or non grid line so again depend upon if i talk about the banking or commercial application then we have to go for the grid line apart from this we can display as a non grid component over here next slide please okay so always uh, while uh, defining the chart uh, the things should be more clear that you know if i am giving some information that what is the selling or the profit on the month wise or year wise so that is what i can display by uh, this uh, pattern growth you know so if i want to uh, show them the growth and this is coming in the downward probably it will make the different impact to the customer mindset so that is what the clarity is a uh, very important while defining any chart and all uh, next slide please okay so we need to go for ascending or descending or alphabetical the meaning is that you know we need to be check that whether we are going for ascending descending or alphabet but depend upon the pattern of it okay yeah so yeah so this is what we are having so uh, now let me come back to the some final uh, conclusion here like you know uh, probably you are having some different types of question so uh, uh, so can you please move to that slide uh, like you know where uh, you know the participant questions might become or might be you are having something that uh, you know uh, if you want to perform any data visualization so uh, you need to be uh, so what type of uh, uh, tools are required whether uh, i i know the programming or i can do it without programming so ideally uh, nowadays whatever tools are available in the market and there is no programming the programming is not required for us so if you are if you are from management side or if you are working in a different role as well so easily you can perform the operation see uh, if you are a programmer then we have a different tool if you are not a programmer then we have a different tool as i said that uh, tableau power bi these are the major tool we have and these tool they have designed for non technical participant so if you don't know anything about the programming coding no problem you can just make your own report in a very effective way so that is something which uh, we are having over that okay yeah all right Okay, so thank you, Dr. Manish. Uh, we really learned a lot from this insightful discussion. I just wanted to iterate and share some of my key takeaways as well um, and what struck me most as well. So, you know, this topic is certainly timely with the uh, current situation that we have today. My right. key takeaway from this webinar is that visual rhetoric is not just about superior design and aesthetics. It is basically the use of visual images to uh, basically communicate the meaning as well. And that basically, it is the ability to uh, basically read and write visuals and the meanings that those visuals communicate. So with that in mind, um, once again, thank you, Sir Manish. I hope you all enjoyed the insightful discussion. Now, um, the room is open for some questions also for our speakers. So feel free to send us a message in the chat box for any questions that you'd like to be answered. So anyone from the participant side before we uh, close out the session? yeah and uh, i would like to say one thing that you know this uh, data visualization is the one concept but if you wanted to uh, you know go with that site or in the same track i recommended to use some uh, some technique for rpa rp is called robotics process automation uh, 
So like, you know, whatever chart or whatever report you're making, and if you're doing the things on daily basis, so with the help of RPA, you can assign your report task to the machine. So from second day onward, machine can make a report automatically for you. So RPA is one of the very famous tool for you uh, if you wanted to go through this uh, way. Uh, next one is that, you know, many users probably they have a question that, you know, whenever I'm keeping my company data, my internal database in the report, what about the database security? So if my database is leakage, then who will take care of it? So we have very good tool, which is called the blockchain. Uh, we have very good tool, which is called the cyber security, which is called the data security. So that is also we can use along with that database operation. So overall, the story is that data, but uh, we can go with the security. We can go for the transparency. We can go for the process automation. And finally, we can make the report. OK, so this is my 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 advice or this is what I recommended to, uh, you know, the users. So if you wanted to go with the new emerging concept with the new current technologies, so always we need to be uh, grow as per the market demand. So if we are not updating your knowledge that is outdated and outdated means you can see the condition of Nokia mobile phone. Now there is no Nokia. We have a time for, uh, you know, different types of mobile brand. Uh, so this updation always required for everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. for. Yeah. Uh, all right. So is there any questions from our participants? Uh, you can um, feel free to use the Zoom chat box also before we uh, conclude the session. Yeah. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So, yeah, I think uh, there's no more questions actually from from the audience. Um. All right. Hold on, please. Okay. So I think uh all the participants. Uh, we're clear with the topic today. So, yeah. Okay, uh, Jay, uh, can you please uh, put it on the next slide, please? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we if we do not have any more questions before we close our program, I'd, I would just like to take this opportunity as well to state some of our popular programs that might be of interest to anyone. So these courses are relevant with our topic today, which is all about data. So these are some of our popular courses, and we actually have upcoming training schedules for each of them. So a direct registration link uh, will be shared to you via the Zoom chat box. Okay, so let me just share the link. <clears throat> Okay. All right, so I direct a uh, registration link has been shared to you via the Zoom chat box or feel free to keep in touch with us via the email that is shown on the screen, training at apexgloballearning.com. So our MS Power BI course aims for you to learn how to import your data create visualizations and arrange those visualizations into reports to effectively create and share impactful visualizations with others in your organization. So we have an upcoming schedule for this course on August 10 to 11. Our MS Excel Advanced Features course will help you learn how to simplify your workflows by revisiting the basics of MS Excel and we'll move on to the advanced level functions of the software. So we have an upcoming schedule for this course on August 17 to 18, 2022. And we also have a data storytelling course on September 22 to 23, which aims to help you transform your reporting into a captivating data storytelling activity in order to extract meaningful insights to make better business decisions. And lastly, we also offer business intelligence and analytics foundation course, which will then help you learn how to basically transform massive amounts of data into useful insights, make informed judgments, choose measured actions, and implement proficient business progressions. So this will be on September 26 to 27. So if you guys are interested to know more and to join our upcoming programs, like I said, a direct uh, registration link has been shared to you via the Zoom chat box, or feel free to keep in touch with us via the email that is shown on the screen, training at apexgloballearning.com. So with that, I am now concluding our session for today. So back to you, Jay.
All right. So thank you, Dr. Manish, for that very informative and insightful session. And of course, you would need to close this webinar session. So it was a pleasure to have you with us. And of course, to our participants, thank you for your presence and your participation as well. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. There is a question here from Sir Michael. How much is, this train is the training investment? So we'll get back to you on that, sir, uh, through email. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So this concludes the webinar. Thank you all for attending. We hope you have learned and enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget to complete our feedback poll survey that will be launched right now. So hold on. All right. So the feedback poll survey is now uh, shown on the screen. So see you all in our upcoming programs. Have a